everybody. Good evening, good evening. Good morning, good evening, good night to all our international friends. We love you, we love you. Big love and thankfulness is going out to you. So we're cooking in the outside. We're so happy for the weather. We're having a little cool weather. Now we're happy we're outside enjoying it. And this afternoon we're cooking very something very simple, like if you're in a rush that you can do really quickly. And what I'm doing is some tacos. So um, chicken tacos and shrimp tacos. And these are shrimp from St. Augustine. So they're from the ocean over there. And this chicken, it's boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's what I'm using. And um, so it's cooked very, very quickly. So this is great for a family or uh, friends coming over quickly and I'll just go get some tortillas and we have some homemade corn tortillas and I'm also going to make a, ch a chow salsa so it's a chow salsa um, I'll make it like the trini chow with some mango and then I'll add I'll add a tomato and all that to it to make it like a salsa like the Spanish okay so I'm so excited. I'm just making this up and using the stuff I have around the house. So that's what we're doing. So as you're getting on here, happy Monday, everyone. Ha Sunday. I mean, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day, everyone. And let us know what you did today, what you're cooking today, uh, where you went, and what kind of experience you had today that you want to share with the world, that you're proud of, and that you want to do, that make you a better person, guys. So share those, these information with us. And please shout out where you're tuning in from for as you're getting on. And thank you so much all for being here. And if this is your first time, welcome, welcome. Um, this is Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. And I hope our show brings values to you. And for everyone out there, guys, leave amazing comments, encouraging comments. Let's, let's hold each other and uh, we'll be stronger together, okay? So, okay, let's go ahead and do some cooking. And let me know what you're cooking, okay, if you're cooking dinner now or breakfast or lunch. It depends on where you're living in the world. So we're cooking out here on the fireside, Trula. And this is, um, these are some things that I have here for my, for my um, salads or my chow salad. These are some of the ingredients I'll be using and also uh, for my tacos. And look, so it's all cut up here all nicely. Look at that. Look at that. I even roasted jalapenos and chopped up here. And uh, all these colored peppers and all these good stuff. And these are some mangoes I have here that I'll be making some. That I will be making a little salsa, but a chow. So I'm going to put a little shadow benny in there and um, boost that flavor up a little bit. And so that's what we're doing here today. And this is the chicken that I'm cooking. Oops. I season it for about an hour now. And um, you can do it overnight. And it's basic seasoning I uh, season this with. Just some garden freshness from uh, some garden freshness, some thyme, celery, shadow benny, garlic and onions and some hot pepper. And then I put black pepper in there, salt, and also a little bit of taco seasoning. <laughs> all right guys so i have my pan in there i even i even have some mexican cheese to go with this dish uh we had tacos yesterday and listen when i start to eat tacos i crave it i want to eat it like four or five days in a row so since i have a little bit of shrimp and some chicken that's what i'm doing with tonight dinner and then you have leftovers that you can make some quesadilla or you can use uh for breakfast for uh eggs you can make omelets with it with all the leftovers i always do this uh, it's so simple and so quick okay guys so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just lay these chicken here to cook like i said they're skinless boneless and that's just your your choice. You can actually cook it with the skin. 
I feel it will give it a lot more uh, flavor. But right now we're doing it like this. It's all a nice seasoning in there, guys. A little sauce, you can just cook this like three minutes on each side. Uh, and this is nice heat. Let me release a little bit. I don't want too much, too much. So you can cook through and not overcook and um, get. Um, uh, tough, so it be perfect. Use it. I prefer use a darker meat when I'm doing tacos and things like that because it has a little fat in it and it, it the flavor is so much more tastier. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna do. Uh, welcome everyone. I need to see. While I'm getting everything here, uh, let's see, let's see. While this is doing, oh, let's mix, let's mi let's make this a uh, little. This is like a nice salsa, but I'm making it a little bit like with sh with the shadow benny instead of cilantro. I'm using the culantro, and uh, it gives it a little bit more flavor. And I'll put a little bit more pepper in it as well. Okay. Beverly saying hello from Trinidad. Hi, Beverly. Uh, here, let me grab that one. So what I have here, guys. So look, guys, see everybody's look at this. It's getting dark really quickly. It's it's actually evening here. Um, we just had sunset. And it's a little cloudy, so it's a little dark, but it's so much cooler. And for all my friends in New York, we're sending our love and energy to you. I know you guys been having so much rain and flooding, so I've been sending love to everyone. Thank you, thank you, and um, I'm sending love for all for all of this to go away and for you guys to get back to your regular life and so on. I know, gosh, I, I can just imagine what you guys are going through. So I'm sending our love. You're sending our love. Um, and that said, it's snowing where she's at. Oh wow, where are you, Annette? So, so this is some um, mangoes. You see, I have, the, and this is some mangoes that I chopped up very small. And um, now I'm going to put some tomatoes. And I also have some roasted jalapenos. Now I'll put a little bit of garlic in there. And a little bit of pimento peppers. And also, let's see, and shadow benny. We also have black pepper. We'll put a little bit of black pepper in there. A little bit of salt to taste and check this out guys a lime fresh lime oh you know what uh, let's go to the garden and pick one of these delicious lime that tastes a little bit like orange but flavorful that we call the other lime or it's also called Paraguay lime right yes or scarlet lime so let's get one of that instead of using re regular limes right now. Let's use one of these. Check these out. Oh man! And um, I put, I put, I finally put the plant down on the in the ground, and it finally caught root. So check these out, guys. You see, it start to give me flowers. Oh, I'm so happy! They start to give flowers and little fruit. That that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So let's pick a couple of these limes. They're called the other limes and uh, scarlet limes. And uh, these are so good in ceviche. These are so good in ceviches and, and just to, when, when, to clean your meat or to use 
in in drinks it's so delicious it's i feel it's stronger than regular limes guys okay so let's go ahead and uh, put some of this in there push up the fire a little bit See, let's turn these guys over. So nice and caramelized, and it looks. And what we'll do after this is cook. We'll just chop them into pieces, or you can really mince them really fine or just into strips and you can eat it with a salad or you can use these pieces and eat it in a like on a sandwich oh it's so good like this way as well lettuce, lettuce perfect wraps. sandwich huh you do your lettuce wraps yes yeah, so or your lettuce wraps i do all that with simple meals like this and of course you can use any meat that you desire All right, all right. Sunday, Sunday, guys. So check this out. Check out my my sa chow salsa or salsa chow. I think I will call it a salsa chow. I'm making it like a salsa and and uh, with a little chow twist. So let's go ahead and we'll cut uh, these guys open. You don't even have to cut them open. They're so juicy. And you see how orange it is. Like I said, it, it looks like an, uh, a little baby orange. But look how much juice these guys have. Look, look at that. Look how much juice. I'll put uh, one more in there. Wow. <laughs> uh, awesome, guys. Awesome. So everything is in there that I want. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just stir this in now. And you use this on your tacos. You can use it also uh, on your quesadilla. Man, this can work when you have friends coming over and you're watching the game or cricket, uh, whatever you're going on with your friends, this is a great salsa with some chips. You can use plantain chips, cassava chips, tortilla chips, and make it into a nice dip. This is so good, guys. This is so good. And look how colorful it is. We'll put a little bit more to uh, tomatoes in there. And, um, and we'll also check it out here. We'll, these are some cilantro. We'll be using some cilantro as well. I just break. I like to see my stuff very, very um, big and bold. I love the bold colors and I love the bold flavor uh, spices. See, so this is this, check it out. This is our uh, salsa chow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, that looks delicious, right? I'm gonna throw these in there too. Why not? Ah, uh, there's nice flavors in there, right, Tommy? Yes. It looks delicious, man. I never really made this combination before. Ah, uh, let's try. Let's try some of this, guys. And more with sips and that uh, juice and the salt and all that flavor will get into the get into the the mango and the tomato and everything. And it's so flavorful and I roasted the pepper on the fire side so it tastes like like it, like you made it from the fire side you get a nice roast taste which I love all right guys so let's try this mmm wow wow very good the combination of the acid from the tomato and the sweetness of the um, the mango and the citrusy flavor, when it combines, wow, it's like paired together. I love it. You can't really taste the acidic or the acid from the tomato or anything. It, it really complements everything in there. Check it out, man. Let me know. I will put this recipe up. And let, try it and let me know how you like it, guys. Okay, so I have my salsa there. Alright guys, so look, we're going to turn this over again. 
see these little pieces here are pretty much done but I'll let it cook a little bit more That looks delicious, honey. Mm-hmm. Smells amazing. Mm-hmm. It's been so long. Actually, it's like three years ago, I used to make this all the time, right? Yes. When I discovered cilantro, not culantro, not the shadow benny, I discovered cilantro first. And when I discovered cilantro, I hated it at the first. I did not like it very well. But then somehow, I don't know what I ate, and I fell in love with the flavor. So every like three times a week, I'll be cooking some sort of taco or quesadilla or something that I need to eat cilantro with. Mm. And then I discover shadow benny or culantro, which is flavor is so much more stronger and and just bust up, you know, it just really um, will blow up when you cook with it. And man, um, I love this two uh, ingredient or herbs. I love them. So listen, you you might be seeing me cooking a lot out there on the fireside because you know it starts to cool off in the evening, and and then I've been craving this kind of tacos and so on lately. So I'll be showing you different ways that you can really make simple dishes with just like a, a like a, a roti or um, a tortilla. Looks good, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I got a bit more, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna go with. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice fire, nice fire. Cedra is saying hello, darling. It's looking great. That's from Cedra. Cedra. Mm -hmm. Pamela is saying good night, Sandy. Family, enjoy your meal. Hi. Uh, Margaret is saying looks yummy. I'm coming over for dinner. She's watching from Queens, New York. This is Ram Margaret Ramprasad. Nice, nice. Guys, and you can use also breast pieces of the chicken to do this. Just don't cook it as long, you know, because that cooks very fast. It cooks faster than the bread, than the Thai pieces. I'm going to do these guys as soon as these three. I'm going to just take them on. Uh, and you let it sit for a little bit. Madri saying it's looking good. She's checking you from uh, North Carolina. Oh, hi. That's going to let you know when the colors start. Yes, guys, for all my friends who are living up north, like North Georgia, North Carolina, the Carolinas, Tennessee, and those places, uh, let me know when they start to get the color start to change. Because those are places that we can leave like 1 in the morning, drive all day, all night, and get there, spend one night, and come back, okay? So let us know when the color start to change. Okay, so this one is cooking a little bit more because it's a little bit thicker. Elizabeth is saying happy Monday morning is from Australia. Oh, hi Elizabeth. Hello, hello Australia. Um, thank you so much Elizabeth. Uh, it's on my list to do. Australia is definitely on my list guys. So reach out to us, stay in contact. I'll be coming, I'll be coming. You know, I want to go everywhere, but it takes time. But I've seen myself in all these places, and I can't wait to come and visit you and be a part of your kitchen. Okay. So what I'm going to know, that chicken here, there's only one piece here, guys. That's a little thicker. So I'm going to let it cook a little bit more there. So while that's cooking, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll put some onions. And this is just some vegetables that I'm cooking to put on top of our tacos as well. And uh, some garlic. And uh, some roasted peppers. And also some, some tomatoes. Come on. Yep. 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 
I guess I'm glad I'm fresh you guys. Check this out, check this out. Diane wants to know when you're going to be making the ackee. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Mo most likely tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I went and looked for salt fish. So you see guys, you see I'm sauteing some of the onions and all these fresh fish from the garden um, to put on my tacos. And, and these are some colored peppers that I have here as well. Uh, look, so I want to just put those in there as well. And there is a pie and sweet recipe. Yes, yes. And look, you just saute this and I saute onions and peppers. And a uh, other young lady saying you can put some cumin also with your... Oh, yeah! Oh, my gosh, yes! I wish I had it. Um, I, I wish I had it, yes. I, I, and even curry leaves. Put some curry leaves in there next time, guys. Oh, look how good, amazing this looks. And this is pretty much done. All you need is peppers. You just want to caramelize it, the blanch it. And look how delicious it is. It has all, in, all the vitamins and all the goodness of the vegetables in it. And all the color is still pretty. Yeah? I say hi to everybody. I just realized you're doing live. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Yeah, bud. It's nice, it's delicious, it's delicious, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I'll be going fishing in about 10 minutes. It's starting to become incoming time. Oh, good, good. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up this chicken. What? Where's the big man? Okay, here you go. So these are finished. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'll take all this chicken is all also finished. All right, guys, it's out. Okay, and it's not finished. That nice sauce on this in this pan is perfect for your tortillas. And these are some nice corn tortilla. You put it in there and warm it up with all that flavor from the peppers and the chicken. And just infuse it into these. You toast these guys a little bit. Ooh, look at it. Look at it there. <laughs> They're so flavor. You're not wasting anything. Nice. So those are our, our tortillas we are using for tacos tonight. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Tuesday is like taco Tuesday. So these guys are warming up and I know I was going to make shrimp but listen we have a lot of food here. I'll leave the shrimp to cook maybe some quesadilla tomorrow. But uh, that's it. So we're not going to do some shrimp. So what we'll do now is what I'm going to do now is chop up the chicken. Let me chop up the chicken like this. Ooh. Can you see how nice that is? It's mm -hmm. so nice and juicy. And tender.
Oh, nice chicken, nice. Ah, so look at that man, right? Look, oh my gosh. Looks so delicious. This is like a jerk flavor I use for this chicken with some garden freshness. Johnny, you want to try a piece of chicken? Ooh, yes, please. Here, try some, try that some. That looks delicious. Here, try that, let see. Do you have a fork? Hmm? No, just take one piece, piece, yeah. It's so all long. Piece. You like it? Very juicy. Nice, nice. And check out our salsa, Johnny. You gotta try. This is our chow salsa. Here, let's let's make up this meal here. Chow salsa. Yes. Here, John, Johnny, bring this over here. Okay. Uh, take off these. Guys, check these out. These are finished. It's delicious, Mom. So I put these all here. They're all ready to use. Take this guy down. We're done cooking. Here, you want to pull out that wood there, Tommy? Pull them out. Save them for cooking tomorrow. And uh, so, you try the salsa, Johnny? Uh, he's went for next door to deliver some food. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, guys, so check out our, our chicken here. Oh, let me chop up the other one as well. And then we'll put them in there. So juicy it is. And the, guys, everything you see here is the juice from the chicken. And this is perfect also for people who like salads. Put this in here. Dinner, you see how quickly that was? If I wasn't talking and hanging out with y'all, uh, this meal would have taken me 20 minutes. You know? Okay, let's, uh, I wanna do the tacos. Guys, check this out. So you see how simple I have my cheese here, and this is some, uh, all right, so I'm gonna just do this here. Okay guys, check this out. Take some of this. And for my vegetarian friends, you don't have to do the chicken. You can do your mix of veggies like this and peppers and onions and put some garlic in there. I'll put some cheese in here as well. And uh, check the chicken, guys. Check it out. It's going to be messy and delicious. We also have avocado, if you would like that. And, um, and this is our, our salsa chow. I'll put some of that on there. Oh, jeez. I know it's messy. Hmm? I have cheese in there already. Is that what you say? Yeah. Okay. Guys, so check this out. I'm going to take a big bite, okay? And this is our dinner. We'll sit down and enjoy, but check it out. Check that out. That's a full, full taco. Full chicken taco there. Mmm. That was a Mark Wien bike there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So delicious, so flavorful and fresh and citrusy and sweet. Oh, so, so good. Mm. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much for watching this uh, show with us today. Thank you for leaving comments. And thank you for show just being here and being part of us. Um, we'll say good night for now and we'll go ahead and enjoy our dinner. But let me know if you try this recipe. Let me know if you like tacos, if you like 
you can call it fajitas tacos and like i said you can use the same ingredient or the same kind of um you know combination and um create some delicious like eggs or um you know Send, rice or something send your twist their twist yes this is this is my twist and it's so simple you can eat this on rice on a tortilla or you can even uh, on bread guys like a sandwich and it's delicious okay so stay amazing everybody stay amazing love you guys and thank you so much for being part of us